Welcome back to PSC Tech 5. Today I'm going to explain you how you can use the PMP taxonomy picker control in order to choose one or more terms from the taxonomy of your SharePoint Online. The PMP taxonomy picker control is part of the PMP React controls library and you can easily use it while rendering the UI of a web part or of an extension or of a dialogue inside your business solutions. It is a really powerful control that you can use not only to select one or more terms, but also to define custom actions in the UI associated with the terms, and eventually even to support the uh, addition of new terms through the UI of the control. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to use it. So, this is the official documentation page of the taxonomy picker in the family of PMP SPFX controls React on GitHub. Here you can find plenty of information about how to use the control. Now, what I'm going to show you is a simple demo where I'm going to read a list of products defining my taxonomy in my SharePoint Online through a client-side web part that I've built using SPFX 114. And here you can see that I can easily click on this button I can choose uh, one or more terms because I enabled multiple selection in my taxonomy. So I can get uh, .NET Core, ASP.NET Core, Microsoft Viva, for example, and SharePoint 2019. And once I'm done in my web part, I'm just showing you the list of terms selected with their ID, their name, their path, and the term set ID corresponding to every single term. How did I implement this web part? Well, first of all, in my SharePoint Framework solution, I added a reference to the NPM package of PMP SPFX Control React. And right now, this is the latest version that we have. Then, in the web part, I simply configured that one of the properties that I will provide to my React component rendering the actual UI of my web part will be the context of SPFX because I will use it uh, in the TSX component on this side. And then in the TSX component, uh, I imported the taxonomy picker control as well as the iPicker terms uh, uh, interface, as well as just for the sake of rendering the output, I also imported the list view and the related properties uh, to the list view control still of PMP. Then in the rendering of my web path, I rely on a state object. This state object will be defined uh, through a, a property called terms, which is nullable of type iPicker terms. This will be the result of a selection of terms in the taxonomy picker control. So that, first of all, in the constructor, I simply initialize the property as an empty one. But then, in the UI of my React component, I say that I want to use the taxonomy picker control. I want to allow multiple selection of terms, and I can specify the name or the ID of the term set that I want to use as the target. So, in my sample, I want to target the products term set, this one. Then, I can configure the uh, strings of the UI, so the text of the UI of my taxonomy picker control, and I provide the context property that I've got to the props of my React component uh, to the context property of my taxonomy picker. On change, which is the event which will happen whenever there will be a selection change in the taxonomy picker, I bind a function that I defined right here, and then I said that in this method, whenever there will be a new selection, I will get an object of type I picker terms, which is nothing more than an array of picker term, where every picker term is made of name, key, path, and term set ID, or eventually name. So that when I get the terms, I can update the state of my uh, React component in order to get the new selected terms. And still in the UI rendering, in the render method, if I have the terms, and I have at least one term, I then render the list view control of PMP controls, binding the list of items to the selected terms that I have in my state, and configuring the list of fields that I want to view in the uh, list view control to a, a definition that I have at the top of my React component. So here I get the terms property uh, from the state, and here I have the definition of the iView field array, which will define all of the columns of my view. By doing that, I can easily do the binding of the selected terms in a list view. 
Of course, you can do more with the taxonomy picker. As I told you, you can configure custom actions on terms and stuff like that. But this is just a, an overview of the basic functionalities of the taxonomy picker, which is really powerful whenever you need to provide the capability to select terms in the UI of your SPFX components. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.